Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to put up a little screen market talk video for you guys today, talking about the second day of the second team of Ultimate Scream in FIFA 20. We just got a couple more SBCs today at 6 p.m. UK. Um, the normal drop time for this game. Two more SBCs, The Mummy, and I think the other one was called The Loch Ness Monster. Loch Ness Monster is worth it. I don't think this Mummy SBC really is worth it. You get a jumbo gold pack. Um, I mean, you can do them both if you want to. But again, it was another day at 6 p.m. UK where we did see um, more SBCs put on the market and more promo packs. So, of course, that means a little bit of a dip in the market, as you can see here. I'm not entirely sure what was going on with Flippin' right here. It went from 55 to 52 and then right back up to 55. So... Something was kind of going on there, but uh, just another little bit of a day where, I mean, I'm recording this about two hours after we got the content. Um, we got some more SBCs today, but um, and that did change the market a little bit, as you can see. But as part of partially, it's just weak link sell-off as well. We're starting to see a lot of these gold cards, a lot of the informs, and other special cards start to drop down in price um, because the weak link sell-off is basically in full force. Starting tonight, people are finishing their weekly games, especially on a guy like this Wynaldum, this Wynaldum Inform card. A lot of people invested in him, and you can see that he is dipping down a decent amount of price now. If I could filter out his um, his UCL card, 147,000 coins, which is uh, he was over 150 last night for sure. Um, so some of those Informs and in, in gold cards are dropping. But the thing that I wanted to talk about today is we had ones to watch market movements out the wazoo. And I'm, I'm watching some uh, Coutinho cards right now because um, Byron played earlier today. He didn't have an inform worthy or worthy performance. Um, so I'm watching that card. But the big man is Mr. Christian Pulisic. Um, lots of hype, a lot of talk around this card today. He was about 19, like somewhere between like 17, 18,000 coins today. Um, when he started his game against Burnley, he ended up getting a hat trick he went all the way up to almost extinct. I know he went extinct on the Xbox at 85K, but now he is starting to drop back down. Look at this, the selling of this card off, which is so glorious to see. He's down almost about 20K from where he was extinct at 85. Around 66,000 coins is where this card is at right now. Um, and a lot of people made a lot of coins on this card today just because of the fact that um, he was very cheap and he rose up a lot in the hype because he did score a hat trick. He probably will get an inform. That's how it works with these cards. Um, he is probably gonna get an inform. And that means we're getting another special version of a left wing Premier League card. So of course this year we do have the Bernard card already. I'm not really aware of any other left wings from the Prem. We have right wing Mares. But left wings from the Premier League, if I even go and look right now, FIFA 20 players, I want to make sure that I'm right on this. I don't want to say something wrong. Um, what do we have left wing that is in the Prem? I'm trying to think and kind of work through my mind right now, but I don't think we have any other specials. We just have Bernard. We have Jack Grealish, but does that really count? No. So we really just have Jack Grealish and Bernard. This is our first, like, this is our second special player it's going to be a left wing i'm not entirely sure what he played in the game but this once to watch card is going to be a left wing card i don't know what pulisic played in game so i'm not assuming that his inform card would be a striker if it if it was that'd be sweet i would like that a lot um but it looks like pulisic was playing according to sofa score he was playing out wide it looks like he was playing out wide either as a, as a left cam or a left wing so not sure what position he was exactly playing. Maybe you guys will know. If he would be a center attack in mid or a striker, I think that would make his card a, maybe a little bit more um, a little bit more valuable. But I still think that like 60k for this card is going to be too much because this is what I kind of want to look at. I want to look at it this way. Right now you see Pulisic. If you give him an inform boost, so he goes from a 79 to what like an 82 rated card. He's gonna get like plus three, plus four boosts at the max for most of his stats, uh, in my opinion. For the informs that are like 79 to 82, they give a lot of plus threes and plus fours, maybe a plus two in some situation. But he should have like 92 pace, he'll have just over 70 shooting, mid 70s passing, mid to upper 80s dribbling, 58 physical, um, which it'll be a cool card, but it's gonna be, 
I don't think it's worth the 80k that he is right now. So if you guys sold your one swatch P6, I think you're chilling. I think you're going to be good. He's going to feel very good in game. He's going to have high dribbling. I mean, this card probably already feels very good in game. He's going to maybe get up to 80 stamina. His composure is kind of low if he's going to be a striker in the box. Finishing kind of low at set at 68 would get upgraded to above 70. Um, but basically, he'd be a very fast, a very pacey player that you could put in on the wing. And a lot of people would try this card out. Um, when he gets an inform this week. But speaking of the one just to watch card, I think it's overpriced because if he gets a left wing inform, I don't think that this card is really worth that much. I mean, maybe this is like a 30 or 40K card at the most. I was thinking even down in like the thir low 30s range for this card, to be honest. I feel like that it just shouldn't have that much hype. I know it's Premier League, but it, for how the market has been this year, the market has been low. It's Chelsea. It's the American, um, the golden boy that has moved to Chelsea in the Premier League playing there. But I, just in my personal opinion, I think 80K was way too high for this card. He's just getting an 82 rated card. So watch this card price drop off a little bit more. If I see this get down to like maybe 40K, maybe maybe 50K, if he drops another 10 to 15K post game, he's already dropped a bunch from where he was at 80K. I might look to pick some of this card up because a popular ones to watch trend. I did with this with Pablo Sarabia back in the day. Um, you can pick up these cards a couple hours after their game because people realize, hey, Pulisic got an inform. He's up from where Pulisic is going to get an inform. His ones to watch card is inflated. I bought it at this X price. I'm making coins on it right now. And people kind of sell out those cards after the game because he's up in price and they want to take their coins, right? Well, other people start to buying those cards when they reach a low point. It's kind of an opportunity to pick up those cards as they rise back up towards Tuesday and towards Wednesday with the new and the next team of the week coming out. So Pulisic could be a buy tonight if you see him down. Like I would say 50K is really safe. He's already dropped. Um, he, he scored his third goal literally an hour ago, a little less than an hour ago, and he's already down about 15 to 20,000 coins. So I would, I would likely say his card could drop another 10 to 15K in the next couple of hours um, after this video goes up. So if you're watching this video and you see people sick at like 40 or 50,000 coins, that might be a decent opportunity to pick up is he could rise back up maybe above 60K into the hype. Um, but I feel like one reason why I don't like that card as well is because he has so much supply. I know I've been looking at this card for the last like five minutes of this video, but this is a 79 rated ones to watch card. Think about how many people also have this untradeable in their teams that did the, um, the pre-ordered FIFA and got a free ones to watch player. That's not a lot of people, but that's some of the population of FIFA users that already have this guy untradeable in their teams. So they're not gonna be going out and buying him. And then also, just how many people pack this card during the OTW promo. So many people probably pack this card, 79 rated. Again, very high pack weight, it's gonna get packed a lot. So. Kind of watch this card price. I would be a little bit scared of it. That's why I think it could drop off harder. Maybe it wouldn't rise as much into the Tuesday Team of the Week stuff then. But that is a popular ones to watch flipping thing that you guys can look at. Another OTW comment that I want to make. I know this video has been more about ones to watch movements than like the scream stuff. We'll talk about screams in a second. Uh, but one ones to watch movement I want to make a point out of is the weekly movements. Just the weekly movements of these cards. Ben Yedder is where is he he's at 300,000 coins right now he had a good game this weekend right after he got another inform if you had Ben Yedder after you if you bought him after you got the inform he went up to like 350,000 coins yesterday because he had a, a goal in, in the game that he played on Friday but it's very very unlikely that he would get a back-to-back -back team of the week it's not impossible but it is so unlikely that nobody ever really bets on it it only happened like once in FIFA 18 with an inform Alessandrini like at the end of the year. So getting back-to-back -back informs is very, very unlikely. I don't see this card getting another inform this week. So if you have the Griezmann that you bought when he did well for his game, I would sell and take the coins on that. But other OTW movements, people are asking me about investing. How can I invest my coins to, to make more coins? Make my coins, to, yes, invest to make more. Once to watch Coutinho is kind of low right now. A lot of these guys are on post game right now. A lot of these guys are post game. Rodri played this morning. Um, Holler played today. Didn't do too much. I don't know about PSG and Sarabia. Um, Dortmund played today. Didn't do much. Looks like Brands down at 35k. That's pretty low. Joelinton plays tomorrow um, morning, 
Wami Saka, United play tomorrow. I think Atletico Madrid are playing like right now, but Jao Felix is hurt. Lozano plays tomorrow. He's already up 10,000 coins. Um, and one interesting thing that I noted as well today was that right when this Pulisic uh, got, when this Pulisic went up a ton in price, so people bought Pulisic for like 18, 19,000 coins, and then all of a sudden, right, he's going up to 70,000 coins and people are making bank. What I noticed was people went right back onto the market and started investing in more ones to watches that had games tomorrow. They made all these coins on uh, Pulisic. And then they went out and they're like, hey, I can make coins from once to watches. Let me go buy some more once to watch cards with the coins that I just made from selling Pulisic. And I watched this Joe Ellington card go from discard this morning to now he's at 13,000 coins. So he's up around 2,000 coins, which is um, definitely a sign of people investing in him before his game tomorrow. They're thinking that he could score goals. They just want to invest in OTW cards because it worked for them. Same thing with the Lozano card. He's up. Pepe is up already. And that's the situation I want to mention as well. Wami Saka is up a little bit too because he does play tomorrow as well. Um, but I want to talk about Pepe for a bit. If you guys did not know, um, Europa League and Champions League games do not count. They do not count for Team of the Week performances and informs. So right now with this Pepe, he's up about 50,000 coins from where he was before his Europa League game earlier this week. He is not going to get an inform for that performance. He will not get an inform for that performance. If he gets an inform this week, it would be ha it would have to be because of his performance tomorrow or t today, whenever you're watching this video. His Sunday game that Arsenal play, he would have to get an inform worthy performance in that game to get into this next week's team of the week. Europa League and Champions League games, those cards, those players that do good, they will eventually be put into like a team of the group stage promotion like we had last year when the group stages are nearing its end. We usually have that promo. So that's when you could see Pepe get a special card and then his ones to watch will get upgraded then. But the midweek games do not qualify for team of the week. Um, I don't know about cup games. That's always kind of a kind of a question mark. I don't think cup games count either. Um, usually team of the weeks are for league games or for international games if they're on international break that week but the cup games i think is where man of the matches come in and stuff like that too so uh, we haven't had any man of the matches yet this year hopefully they're coming soon those are fun cards to have in fifa but i wanted to kind of let you guys know about that too that the once to watch cards will not get upgraded in the team of the week for performances from ucl or um europa league now on to the scream talk because there's a lot of stuff that we need to talk about concerning these cards right here and i'm pulling up this web page for you guys right now because I want to let you know about something that a lot of people are not talking about. It is on the frequently asked questions down here at the bottom. Uh, it's about the timeline and the packs and how long these cards are going to be in packs. So this is the, if you basically search Ultimate Screen FIFA 20 on Google, this is the EA Sports website page that pulls up, kind of outlining the promotion, shows all the players that are in packs, yada, yada. Then we always have this frequently asked questions section on these EA web pages. And a lot of times people don't read these really well and you can get a lot of information from these that might not be public knowledge so again this is the case here the question that i want to look at is right here how long are all our ultimate screen players in packs for the first 11 screen players will be in packs from the start of the promotion until october 25th which was yesterday friday when the second team came into packs they will be in packs from the start of the promotion until october 25th and over halloween so, Scream Bernard, Scream Aguero, Otamendi, Deli Ali, that set of players that came out last week are going to be back in packs over Halloween. What does Halloween mean? Is that the actual day of Halloween or is it the entire weekend? That is something they have not clarified for us. It just says and over Halloween. A second team of players will be in packs from October 25th until the end of the event. Until the end of the event. Well, what is the end of the event? Let me show you. On the FIFA Ultimate Team Hub, back here, where is it at? There it is. Ultimate Scream. The second Scream team is now available and it packs for 7 days, 21 hours. So that actually goes until 7 days from now. Well, tomorrow will be 7 days. So 7 days from tomorrow at 6 p.m. UK will be the end of the Scream promo. So next Sunday at 6 p.m. UK, these cards will go out of packs. Seven days, 21 hours from right now, seven days from Sunday. So that makes me think 
that since the second set of players is going to be in packs two days after um, the technically the one week period, most promotions that run a FIFA are one week, so from Friday 6 p.m. to the next Friday at 6 p.m. This screen promo, the second team is going to be in packs from Friday at 6 p.m. to Sunday at 6 p.m. Uh, two days later, basically. So that makes me think that the first set, as it says back here on the web page, it's going to be over Halloween. That makes me think Halloween is on a Thursday of next week. The 31st, I believe, is on a Thursday. That's Halloween. So I'm honestly thinking that these cards might be in packs sometime Thursday through the end of the weekend. So maybe they do Friday at 6 p.m. UK. They put these cards back in packs for the Halloween weekend. But that cha that changes things into what we're thinking about these um, the first set of the Scream team. That really changes how we're thinking about Thursday flipping for these cards and when it might be a good time to buy these cards for your team or if you want to play with them during the week or if you want to try them out or whatever. That just changes my mindset on these cards because these cards are going back into packs. A lot of them have risen up from where they were when they went out of packs uh, yesterday. These are going to go back in packs again. So, And since EA is being very... Um, very leery right here over Halloween they're giving themselves they could put them in after Halloween the actual day it could be for the weekend they could actually put them in packs before I mean they technically can put them in packs whenever whenever they say Halloween is that's when they're gonna put these back in packs so if you're looking to buy some of these scream cards the best time to buy them I would say would be after the weekend league sell-off so like tonight or tomorrow when you see these cards, they're not in packs anymore, so the only downward movement in price that you're going to see from them is people selling them off from their teams. That's the downward movements that you're going to see. So I would watch these cards if you want to play with them during the week, if you want to watch these cards and um, get one into your team. Um, for the long run, I would say do not do it right now. I would say wait. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is around 270 k which is down a little bit from what he was after rewards. I think he was like 280 290 um, on Thursday, but he's going to go back into packs. Hama is going back into packs. Scream Bernard going at, back into packs. I know a ton of people are interested in this card, and a ton of people honestly thought that we were going to be able to flip these uh, Scream cards for Thursday flipping this week. I know a lot of people were eyeing these Scream cards as possible Thursday flips this week. I don't think we can do that because we're not sure when they're going into packs, and if they come into packs shortly after rewards, it might be a little bit of a hairy situation. So if, unless we get more info from EA this week, I would wait to buy any Scream card. Literally, I would wait to buy any Scream card until after the end of the promo this next weekend because next Friday, you're going to have both of the Scream teams and packs most likely through the weekend. That means more promo packs are going to be opened, chance for more e, uh, SBCs to be dropped by EA Sports. We know they love dropping the pack SBCs, especially like the ones we got today. So I would watch those cards very, very closely um, at that time frame when they go out of packs and when EA puts them back into packs. So that's what I would say. Wow, what an undercut on Bernard right there. Somebody just undercut Bernard for 112,000 coins. Unbelievable. Somebody missed it. They put a they put a two instead of a one. And look, there's the realist. The guy just realisted for 210. Wow. That's a cheeky 90k profit on one card right there. Insane. But if you're looking to buy any of the screen cards, I would hold off and I would wait until next week when those all those cards go back into packs over the Halloween period prescribed by EA Sports, whatever that is, um, whatever they want to put those cards in packs because we're going to be more SBCs and more promo packs and stuff like that. So that's what I wanted to bring today to you guys and talk about with you guys. Again, one more look at the OTW stuff. OTWs, if you're going to invest, this is like the thing to invest in in FIFA, buying cards after their game. Coutinho, 190,000 coins right now. He usually is like 220 before the game. He has a midweek game this week. Again, it's not um, it's not a game that he could get an inform from. It's a cup game. But people don't realize that sometimes. And that's why I was trying to explain it to you guys. You can make money off of these cards in midweek games. If he scores in the midweek, just like Pepe did this week, Pepe won't get an inform from that game. But... He did rise, so you could have made coins there. Same thing with Coutinho. Or just if you're doing week-to-week, ones-to-watch investing, that is the way to do it, is buy after the game. So like right now, I'm a huge fan of Brandt. Brandt's been playing okay this year. Um, special Brandt card. I know he's got the blue card, so let's see if we can filter that out with a 10K price range. And then 35,000 coins for Brandt. 
Looks like he may be back up a tiny bit, 36K, all right. So that's usually down about five, he's usually around 40K. I think he was 40K, 42, 43 before the game today. So if you pick them up a couple hours after the game, that's usually when they do get their cheapest. I might pick one up on bid here and see if I can snag one, chuck it in my club. And um, he plays a midweek game as well, so if he does well there, maybe he'll get hyped up. But then he should rise up next weekend into his next weekend's game as well. So that's the weekly ones to watch trading that I feel like is a little bit undervalued. People are wanting to know where to put their coins. Yes, you're risking those cards dropping because of some sort of pack SBC and panic on the market or info that EA would put out. But right now we're in the middle of the screen promo. I don't think EA would put a ton of information out about like something that's coming after the promo. So if you want to do the ones to watch flipping for next week, maybe look at a few cards on flipping. Scroll through this web page right over here, team of the week, or excuse me, ones to watch on Footbin right here. Scroll through some of these cards, look at their prices, look at especially the attackers, those rise up the most. Cards that are playing well, you can see that Rodri's card literally just falls. Literally just falls. Rises on the weekends when he has games, and rises when people build teams with him after um, a Sunday sell off. But these cards have just been falling. But some of these other guys, like Coutinho, 190K. There was a big drop last week, of course, with um, some of these cards, but he's been all over, 190, he's been up to 220, he's been to 228, like, it's a weekly thing, and if you look at the hourly graph, too, Coutinho, again, I, I said he was pretty high, he was 215k yesterday, today, he had a game, 224, 224, after the game, 187, so, cards like this are very good to trade with, you have to wait a little while, but if you want to invest, that's the way that I say uh, I think you should invest at the moment in, in FIFA 20 ultimate team so that's the little screen market talk for you guys a lot of ones to watch stuff built in there as well otw weekend movements and uh screen card talk as well if you enjoyed the video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new it's been nate foot accountant catch you guys later peace out